We're going to get a very unusual and rare look into Ed's house, which is in progress in Studio City. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, so William is going to take us, William's the architect of the house, and he's going to take us through the design process, thinking about how to bring the most sustainability out of this lot, this design, and these ideas. So, William, I'm going to turn it over to you right away, and then we're going to okay. talk about sustainability in the home. All right, okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to sort of briefly go through our work on the project to date. Uh, and um, a couple of years ago, I was introduced to Ed and Rochelle about their house through a friend and met them. And uh, while I certainly wasn't a specialist in environmental or green and sustainable projects, they had done some. Uh, and we met. And I felt it was a long shot to get this project. Um, and we started designing, and I mean, we started interviewing with one another, and it turned out they liked our work a lot, and we were, we were selected at the end of the day. Um, and I can't get the slides to go forward. <laughs> <laughs> Green arrows, oh, there we go, okay. Anyway, so, and you know Ed, Ed and Rochelle well, and especially if you've uh, watched the television show at all, that's kind of what the process has been like. <laughs> uh, Sorry. We, we know all about Ed. He's, when I first met him, I thought this is going to be difficult because I kind of viewed him as the sort of lunatic fringe of the green movement. I certainly <laughs> realized that he's actually a major leader in it, but my impression was that he was the guy who, who rode his bike to make toast every morning. Um, when we were awarded the project, I think that Ed and a number of us thought, well, we sort of imagined the house being some kind of new, sustainable-looking projects, and sustainable projects have a certain look to them, and we kind of got started thinking that. Um, the younger people in my office, I think, thought the project was going to look like this. Um, and, but then Rochelle saw the house that my wife and I did for ourselves in Hancock Park, and we, so we took her through the home, and she said, I really like this. And it kind of confused us all. We didn't really know what direction the project was going to go. And, but I don't know, you want to guess who won? Um, so at the end of the day, Ed agreed that she could have the, the house type of house she wanted as long as it met the sustainable standards that were important to him building. So um, we began. <laughs> 